we shall now display the details using modal dialog we shall do this lecture in two parts and uh, let's see at least what we have at present then we'll discuss our strategy for the display using modal dialog this is our display at present if we click on details we are taken to a different page and the content is displayed there what we want is that when this details is clicked a pop-up dialog should appear showing all the details here this is what our objective is at present let us study how we can implement this consider this this is our display at present details 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 and some other data in this table what we want is that when the user clicks this details button a pop-up should show in our first step what we'll do is we'll show the pop-up but not the data inside it we'll first of all study how to display how to display a pop-up the minimal display so what I'm speaking is mostly taken from the jQuery website but in a crystallized form to show a dialog we need two things number one you need the function that will be called and number two the dive or the element which could be dive or anything else also that will actually be presented as a dialog so for example if details is clicked then the inner HTML of this dive ABC will appear as a pop-up here and the user can close it by clicking this close button so at we need two things to show a pop-up dialog the first thing is a JavaScript function that will be called immediately when this is clicked and second a tag that will consist of some inner HTML In, uh, suppose this is clicked now here this code has to run which searches for this dive this should be hash dlg and calls a function called dialog on it the moment this function is called the inner HTML of this div tag that is shown inside a pop-up dialog it is possible to specify properties on this plugin like modal true so when you put modal true it will be shown as a modal dialog by modal dialog we mean that when it is shown you have to dismiss it first before interacting with the page below it the page below it will appear in a gray color so that you can't interact with it so uh, this is the whole process about showing a dialog now uh, for this you will need to include certain bundles also so let me first of all come to those bundles and then we'll proceed with the steps for showing this dialog the file you are seeing is layout.cshtml our bundles have to be put into this let us see what are to be added first of all we have to add the bundle for themes by base by CSS now what is this if you come to our app underscore start 
Towards the end, a bundle has already been added for you, content by themes by BS by CSS. This is basically the bundle for the CSS for all the user interface plugins that are available to you. And dialog is one of them, so its a CSS will also get included. Although we might not be using others in this case, but uh, there is no harm if we put all of them in one go because in our project, somewhere some is used, elsewhere some other is used. So we include the whole of the bundle in our layout file. This effectively adds the required CSS, the formatting for the dialog. Having done this, we have to add two more bundles one for the jQuery val which includes unobtrusive ajax and all the related files required for the ajax functioning and jQuery UI this file is for the UI plugins like the date, time, date picker like the modal dialog we are going to do right now so these includes one this one two this one three this one you have to add them to what you get by default from the Visual Studio. Now we'll come to our index.cshtml. We'll close it and save it also. Closing this also. Coming to our index.cshtml. Here what we'll do is, we'll change this HTML action link into AJAX action link. dollar ajx dot action link so this will display a link button which will put an ajx request to the server rather than a normal request so the first argument is link text we can write in english details action name action name I am writing details we will add an action called details to our controller and then you have ajax options so I will put ajax options new So let us explore what will be of use to us. HTTP method, this will be get. Then we have on begin is equal to show dialog. We are writing a JavaScript function here. Similarly, on success is equal to uh, server com um, complete. We can give any name like, but be careful about the. I'll just roll it down. You have to take a lot of care that this should be data. This argument should be having the same spellings and it should be data. Sometimes people commit a mistake they give any argument like x, y, z then things don't work. So you have to be very careful about this. So make it as a general rule that arguments wherever you are not sure when request is coming from the server use data for that. Let us at least run this much and see what happens. Okay, we have got we have got an action link there. We can view source also to verify that it is indeed an AJAX action link. Yes, it's AJAX, AJAX everywhere. So this is the AJAX action link that we wanted to have. So now I told you two things for showing a pop-up dialog. The first is the function that will be called. 
so our function is there we'll just make a space somewhere script type is equal to text by javascript the function name is show dialog function show dialog here what we have to do is we have to make arrangements for popping up the dialog and I told you we have to have a div also id is equal to dlg we are giving it any dlg id style is equal to display initially we keep it hidden and now we can call our hash dlg dot dialog and we can pass some arguments also uh, one is modal true width auto instead of auto we can keep it around 300 and height equal to let us say 600 and uh, we have height width modal title animal I am just reducing it to 400 because 600 might be too large and format it and uh, before showing the dialog we can set its inner HTML to dot HTML because its inner HTML is what will be shown as the modal dialog so now when we call it it should pop up the dialog let us test it click on the details yes it pops up it shows please wait but it is not proceeding any further because there is no ajax receiver on the server side let us do that also before we set up an ajax receiver we must also pass the id of the animal that will be returned if we look at here we have an overload for root values so we can write those root values here new id is equal to what will the id be it will be at the rate v dot animal code let me see whether it will work with this also so it will be I can now bring it into view so this is what it should be this is the argument to the details function and uh, details function will be put on the server side so that it responds to this ajax request that function has to be a get function, get request and uh, one more thing before we go to server let us complete this function also here we have to add this function function so what we have to do is we have to just set the inner HTML to what is coming from the server side so this is the function that will be called when the request completes run it again and this is the form that we have got 
this is the AJAX link it will pass the correct ID so in our next lecture we will see how to send data from the server correctly.